Hello, I'm Claude King on Return to Me, and this week I'd like for us to focus our attention on joining God's mission. Just prior to his ascension into heaven, after his resurrection, Jesus tried to drill home one final command for his disciples, that as they go, they're to make disciples of all peoples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to observe or obey everything he's commanded us. Uh, That command that Jesus has entrusted the entire future of his kingdom work to us uh, is essential that we obey that command. I want to share with you an idea that might be helpful to your church as you obey the final command. Uh, Oscar Thompson tells the story in his book Concentric Circles of Concern about having a SWAT team in his church, but this was a spiritual weapons and tactics team, and uh, their assignment was lost husbands. So uh, when Alice got saved, her husband John uh, got assigned to the SWAT team. Uh, This team of men began to pray for John and Then they began to build relationship bridges with him, to get acquainted with him. They took him to lunch, found out he liked to play tennis. They started playing tennis with John and cultivating relationship with him. And he he came home one day and he said, Honey, those Baptists are after me. Well, they were. (laughs) But uh, he started attending church. But as he was attending church, he began to get convicted about his sin as he sat under the preaching of God's Word, and he was so uncomfortable with that, he didn't want to go to church every Sunday and feel like that, and he joined the National Guard in the day when that was a good source of a supplemental income. And at least once a month, he wouldn't have to go to church. Well, the SWAT team was concerned, and Oscar said, hey, don't, don't be concerned. If he's running from God, that's a good sign. Let's keep praying. So they kept praying. Uh, One weekend, John had rented a truck, and as he was returning the truck, he started cursing about something, and the man behind the rental counter interrupted him, and he said, Sir, I used to use language like that, but when I came to know Jesus Christ as my Savior, uh, he cleaned up my language, and I realized I don't have to talk like that anymore, and John felt convicted about his sin. He's glad that this is guard weekend, and at least he won't have to go to church and feel worse. And so uh, he goes to guard, though, and uh, he's all tied up in knots about uh, some red tape going on with the government. And he's talking to his sergeant as they walk across the parade grounds. And and the sergeant interrupted him and said, John, I used to get tied up in knots with stuff like that, but he said, Uh, When I came to know Jesus Christ as my Savior, I realized He's the Prince of Peace, and it doesn't matter how bad things are going around me. Uh, I can know His peace in the midst of those storms. Well, John gets away from the sergeant, and uh, he's a photographer for the guard, so he goes to the dark room, and he closes the door behind him, and, and he says kind of under his breath, it's good to get out of the light and into the dark. Well, somebody in the back of the dark room heard that and said, John, you know what the Bible says about that, don't you? That men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And here John is on a guard weekend and he can't get away from Christians telling him about Jesus. Well, that following week, he went to visit Oscar and he said, Pastor, he said, I've got to get a divorce. And Oscar said, a divorce? What you talking about? That woman loves you. You love her. He said, I know it. But he said, I've been listening to your preaching, and I know I'm supposed to be a spiritual leader in my home, and and I can't be that kind of leader for, for her, and she's a good woman. She deserves better than me, and I need to get out of her way so she can get her a good husband. Well, Oscar started to argue with him, but held his tongue, and John spoke up, and he said, now I know what you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me I need to get saved. Oscar said, well, that sounds like a better plan to me. John left and got in his truck, drove from uh, Fort Worth to Dallas, and on his way, got under such conviction, he pulled his truck over to the side of the road and went around on the back side and got on the ground to kneel to pray and ask God to save him. Later came back and told Oscar what had happened. 
here was a team of people who had a focus on going after people who don't know Jesus, building relationship bridges, praying for them, loving on them, and eventually introducing them to Jesus Christ. I was telling that story in North Carolina to a Sunday school class of young adults, and I was uh, speaking to the class for that hour, but uh, when I shared that story, one of the leaders in the class stood up and he said, excuse me, but we've got to do some business here. Sit down. So I sat down, and he said, men, we've got three women in our class whose husbands don't know the Lord. And he starts pulling three chairs out into the middle of the circle, and uh, he names the women, and he says, would you please come and take a seat here? And he said, men, I want us to gather around these women, and we're going to enter into a covenant with them that we will not rest until their husbands come to know Jesus Christ as Savior. It was a really moving time. I don't remember what happened the rest of that class. I spoke to the church in their worship service, and then I went home to Tennessee. Years later, I ran into the guy who had invited me to come and speak at his church, and he said, Claude, I am so sorry I never gave you an update on that. He said, that day a revival started in our church as they began to care about people and demonstrate love to one another and love to a lost world. Begin to pray about what God wants you to do to join His mission where you are. And it may be that you'll form some teams of people with a specific focus to work together to carry out God's redemptive work in the world. Let's join God's mission.